We were just talking about the UK, so good segue into our next uh, next pre presentation um, and staying with, with within Europe and a European um, a, a pan European perspective. Um, very excited to um, introduce the next Peter, speaker, Peter Hansel, Senior Director of Debt Strategies for Nuveen, a TIAA Asset Management Unit, um, helping us understand better UK real estate debt markets uh, versus continental Europe. Peter, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. So, um, my name is Peter Hansel. Uh, as David said, I'm senior director within Uveen's uh, European real estate debt business with responsibility for uh, origination and portfolio management across the um, senior debt, whole loan and, and mezzanine strategies that we have, which are investing both in the UK, but um, also with a, a European focus and currently with about four and a half billion of assets under management. Um, in some ways, you know, this is a, there's been a segue into my talk with, um, with some of the comments made um, in terms of the US and, and um, in terms of uh, Dale's comments about, about Europe. And I think it's, it's actually very difficult just to compare the UK real estate debt market with continental Europe because, as Dale has said, uh, Dale pointed out, there are uh, a myriad of legal differences, there are you know, technical differences, and obviously there are individual marketplaces. So um, what, I, what I will do is, is you know, draw out some of the, um, some of the differences and, and some of the similarities between um, the UK and you know, different European uh, jurisdictions. This, I guess, is a, is, is a, a similar theme to, to uh, comments that have, have been made already. But um, you know, I think that the, the common driver for both the UK um, and European um, is the, the market opportunity, which is driven by a steady reduction in the presence of, of the commercial bank lenders in the, particularly the, the sort of value add, um, some of the higher lending and, and, the, and the construction side. And obviously, on the other side of that is, is you know, fueled by um, a, a fixed income product which uh, provides stable income. It's a capital, capital preservation uh, product and, you know, I think provides strong relative value in the context of uh, for, for investors. It's a product that obviously works well for the insurance company um, and the pension fund world. And, you know, when it's combined with a broader real estate lending, um, oh, sorry, broader, state, broader real estate 